Hi guys! Today I'm making this recipe look like muffin. I will call this Vietnamese savory fried muffin. Bán cong in Vietnamese. If you want to join with me, let's begin. Soak 1 fourth cup of mung bean in water overnight. After that, drain out the water and steam it for 15 minutes. To make the batter, you need 1 cup of rice flour, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, mixed with 8.5 ounce of coconut milk. Mix it and slowly add 1 cup of cold water. Mix until there's no lumps. Then add 1 teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and 3 fourths teaspoon of sugar. Mix until everything dissolved. And let the batter rest for half an hour. To make the filling, I'm going to use 1 cup of ground pork, fry with 2 cloves of chopped garlic with 2 tablespoons of cooking oil, seasoning with half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of sugar, and half teaspoon of black pepper. If you see the meat forms into chunks, try to break it out into smaller pieces. Shut off the heat when the meat is no longer pink. You need 3 4th cup of taro cut into thin strips. After 30 minutes, you can add taro, cooked mung bean, and ground pork. Mix all the ingredients together. This is the mold for the fried muffin. Before you fry the muffin, make sure you put the mold in the hot oil for about a minute. Take the mold out with some cooking oil on the bottom of the mold and fill up with the mixtures. For this recipe, you need 9 shrimps. Now put one big shrimp on top of the mold. Slowly put the mold in the hot oil and let it cook until it's nicely brown. To unmold the muffin, I used the knife to go around the edges so it come off easily. After you unmold the muffin, let it cook until it's evenly brown. Now the muffin is nicely brown. Take it out from the deep fryer and continue with your frying until you finish all the batter. You serve this Vietnamese savory fried muffin with Vietnamese herbs and lettuce. And the most important thing is to dip with this fish sauce. If you want to learn how to make this, I will have the link on the bottom. Let me show you how the inside looks. This recipe is very delicious. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. If you like, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe. I will see you again. Bye bye.